Welcome back to The Standard Podcast. We pray this episode encourages you to dive deeper into the Word of God to discover all of His promises for you. Welcome back to The Standard! Woo! We got new microphones! We got a new setup. Courtesy of Forever Faithful Jewelry. Yes, we appreciate you. Also, there's a discount code you can use. Work with her. It's going to be in the comments below. We're so excited! Yeah. This is like one of the first things that we had talked about getting was microphones, right? Yes. Ooh. And it looks so professional. I know. I feel all fancy. So, the scripture for last week was Philippians 2, verses 12 and 13. So then, my beloved, just as you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who is at work in you, both to desire and to work for his good pleasure. So, what I got from that was, like, we, well, the biggest part for that stuck out was the work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, and that's what a lot of people don't do nowadays. They just say, well, I got saved when I was 12, mm -hmm. and that's good, and I'm done. Um, and so, like, if you don't have any reverence or fear for the Lord, and a lot of times people think, oh, that means I need to be scared of him. No, that's it's more of like a like a reverent, respectful fear of like it's just different. Like you don't you're not scared of him, you just something like, I wanna make sure that I'm doing the best that I can and that every aspect of my life is constantly reflecting him and who he is and what he has to bring. Right. That makes sense. It's just an awareness of who he is. Like yeah. like you said, it's not a fear of him. Even though he is a just God, he's merciful. But just being aware of who he is and how he is in our everyday life. Yeah. I think that's what we forget a lot of times is that he is omnipresent. And so he's everywhere all at one time, even throughout the times of the day. And I think that's just what we lack sometimes too, is the awareness of him being there. All right. I think the part that got me was the um, work working out of your salvation because a lot of people think that it's just a one-time thing like you said i got saved when i was 12 i've been in church ever since i was born i'm good when it comes down to it uh your salvation is a daily thing mm -hmm. it's laying down yourself daily and picking up your cross yeah and it's not necessarily your we know it's not works that saves us but we are still working towards an eternal prize that in the bible Mm -hmm. that we are to press on every single day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. that was the part that stuck out for me the most. Yeah, I mean, anything that we've ever talked about in this has been a, a, us living an active life, which should reflect, you know, our, ourselves physically, spiritually. <clears throat> so I really feel like the root of everything that we do is spiritual. Even if you're, even if you're not a Christian, like there is some kind of spiritual aspect of your life yeah somebody is searching for a spiritual remedy there's books on it there's everything so and we can't see what's happening in the spiritual realm no but it's always something it's always the always. spiritual realm is always active yeah so i feel like if we're feet as a christian if we're feeding our spiritual self and by working out in this instance the active of that of working out our spiritual mind then it needs we also need to reflect that with our physical selves because I mean I just feel like one always correlates with the other when you're spiritually down when you're mentally down you don't want to move around you don't want to do anything right, right. but if you're being active in feeding yourself spiritually and working out in this case our salvation every day then it makes you want to do better and not only in your spiritual or mental state but also your physical state I mean everything all works together and I feel like that's kind of how God made us you know, when he originally, he made us in his image. And God is an active person, an active spirit in every aspect. So why shouldn't we be? Right. Yeah. Just saying. Just something that I really think about. I like that you made that an action verb. Like how it really is supposed to be. Yes. And a lot of people just forget it. Because they really do. They think that, well, I'm good. But unfortunately, there's going to be a lot of people that thought they were good. In the church, yeah. they get left. And that's scary. That's scary. That is scary. So, 
But yeah, I love that. So today we're talking about, we're still continuing the series. We haven't put an end date to this series. No. I'm sorry, Mitchin. I got bit. Yeah, we were, we've oh. been at the beach yes. all week and the mosquitoes there are not any better than the mosquitoes here. Yeah. They're like the size of quarters, each of them. They're really huge. And they like me. <laughs> they like me. And I don't like them. So I'm, I've been loving this series personally. I think it's really cool to take a look at these women and what they can bring and what we can learn from them. There's I mean, so many different ones in the Bible and so many different stories too that we could go on and on, literally. Yeah, so we don't have an end day yet, but I'm sure we'll, we'll come up with one whenever we just feel like. I mean, there's still some important. There's only at least one more important one to talk about. I, there's another bad one that I want to talk about, actually. Okay. We'll get there. So okay, that's exciting. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, yeah. Sarah was, last week was one. Last well, Sarah was last week, right? She was one that was like she really wasn't that great of a person, but we still learned a lot. I mean, she yeah. was obviously there a was. Person, but. I mean, she had to have been somewhat of a good person. Yeah, for her to be the chosen yeah. mother of the mother of nations. nations. Yeah. She just had a, a few moments. Yeah, yeah. yeah. which we get. I mean, we, we have moments, which unfortunately is what built her resume per se. Yeah. <laughs> like, literally like we like listed all these things. But we still they were still good to come out of it, which yeah, you know, God's maybe it's a Sarah thing. thing. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> you know, honestly yes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely yes. But today we're gonna talk about Mary Magdalene. Not to be confused with Mary Bethany. This is Mary Magdalene. <laughs> oh, we were bringing it up. <laughs> That's all I'm saying about it. Y'all can work that out however y'all want to see. We which researched ones are. it, but you do the research for yourself. Yeah, we'll research on the two. So, Mary Magdalene, she was the first disciple, woman disciple, one of the first women disciples of Jesus during his ministry. Um, they met when she had demons in her. She was plagued. She was plagued by demons, and so I can't imagine the torture that she went through. Um, so, but Jesus met her where she was at, and he saved her and freed her. And there was like this little, um, this little article about her. And one of the things that it says is that it, there's not a lot of details that are recorded about this event. Um, and but because of her healing, they forged a friendship. And I think that part is like, sometimes we miss um, the friendship that Jesus offers us. Right. Like, yes, he is the miracle worker, and he is the good shepherd, and he is so many things, but he is also our friend. Well, it's, the Bible says that he's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. Yeah. And I'm like, we, we sometimes just put him on... Now, I don't mean this in a bad way, because obviously we do put him on a pedestal because he's our savior, but at the same time, he was a human, and he was so, he's relatable, and he really is there when we can't even understand that. And so imagine with Mary Magdalene, when she had been rescued, just like he does rescue us, she wanted that friendship. Like, she chose that from that moment on that I'm following him no matter what, so that... That right there shows just a token of her faithfulness and how genuine she was. It created a bond, too, though. Yeah. I mean, to think about how much she was in torture and how tormented she was every single day. And no telling how long. this man to come and relieve her of that completely. Instantly. Instantly. Yeah. Like, that has to create a significant bond for between her and him. Whether, you know, it was a friendship, like you said, but she loved him because... He did that for her. Yeah. Like, I can't imagine even how long that she was like that. And I was thinking about this the other day, not to get off track, but a lot of people, I, this, her story is one of the reasons I can't understand how people can either be saved or have a relationship with the Lord or be touched by the Lord in a supernatural way and then walk away from Walk it. away, yeah. No, I couldn't. Yeah. I was talking to somebody about that the other day. I was... I had been following a story where it's just like miracles on top of miracles on top of miracles. And I'm like, how do you, like the Lord is moving on your behalf. Mm -hmm. And you still like, you're still out there living a sinful life. Mm -hmm. Or people who I've like, the Lord heals them and mm -hmm. they go right back to yeah exactly what was destroying their body. Right yeah. type of thing. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, that's the thing about the flesh. I was going to say, it's humanity. humanity. Like, if we are not checking ourselves, and I think that, and, you know, she had the luxury of having Jesus present. Right. You know, we don't have that. Them. It does make it harder. He's present, but not in the flesh. Um, which, I mean, obviously we see later in other, like with some of, like Judas, that that didn't matter. But yeah. the point of, like, when she had her radical moment, like, she got to have him constantly. Mm-hmm. But also, like, we have him constantly. Mm-hmm. It's people... the problem that we don't draw near to him constantly. Exactly. Which goes along with our scripture for from last week. If we're yeah. not actively doing it every day, then we get out of touch with him. Yeah. And that is our communion with him. Yes. Even though he's not here as a man, we right. still have a connection and a relationship with him. That was the whole point of him dying on the cross is so we could have that connection. Yeah. Um, and so... Unfortunately, people miss that. Yeah. They draw, they drew near to him when they needed him, but then mm-hmm. when they were good, like he's a genie in the bo- in a bottle. Basically, yeah. like yeah. he got me through that because that's, that's the goodness of the Lord. But now that I don't need him anymore, which and that's the wrong way of looking at it because we need him every day. Right. But now that my situation's gone, I'll just kind of watch myself. But you know, whatever and. Unfortunately, it puts them right back into where they come from. But she made that decision right then that I'm going to have a friendship with this man. And that and I'm not going to leave his she side. She was loyal with him. She was one of the only people that didn't flee yeah. when he was arrested. Exactly. And um, so it says right here that the friendship forged from that freedom she suffered through led to Mary's entire life serving as a reflection of her gratitude. Mm-hmm. So she had gratitude. And that's something that we don't do. We do not live every day in gratitude. And I think, arrogant. yeah, like, like, I mean, we've even made the, I made it before, like, well, I'm good, like, I'm great, but I'm not. I need to be thankful every single day that God lets me wake up, and that God, because He doesn't have to let me wake up. I could wake up tomorrow in heaven, mm-hmm. and He's like, what did you do? Yeah. What did you do for me? And so that's one thing to look at for her in instance is that she lived in gratitude every single day, and because of that faithfulness and because of that gratitude. That she lived in and constant humbling just all the time. She was the first person to share the gospel. To share the news of Jesus Christ rising from the right. dead. Mm-hmm. He was, she was the first one that he showed himself to. Yep. And I think that's pretty powerful. Mm-hmm. And if that's not a testament of how we need to be. How we need to have a re- that reflection. I think that we're missing it. Because right. he can show himself to us in ways that we can't even fathom. Yeah. If we just have some gratitude. If we mm-hmm. just be faithful. And or is, are we loyal? Yeah. To him. Man. We just talked about that. Because he's always loyal to us. And I, that's something in, its, in a, of itself to be thankful for is that even when we've turned our backs like, against him so many times, he's always there. And he's always the faithful one. And that's what we're supposed to be in reflection from him. I said that on the way over here. I said, we just don't deserve his goodness. Mm-hmm. We don't. Like, getting blessed by the, these things, we don't deserve this. How many times have we just, you know, not been, pre- like, present or, like, just fully actively, but he's still in his loving and his perfect nature said, I'm going, they're doing something for me, even if they go weary. And, that, like, with her instance, like, she was weary, but God still let, held out that hand and said, I'm going to, I mean, it's just, it just shows how the faithfulness of him. Yeah. It truly does. Like, this is a blessing that we never even thought we could get. And what do we show gratitude every day? Do we wake up yeah. and... It's so easy to take everything we have for yes. granted. Because it's always there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I think, for me, honestly, because I had that problem of not having gratitude and had just having a negative mindset. And so, personally, I... Um, hung up a poster in my closet and in the middle it says how did you see God today Mm -hmm. and I forced myself at the end of every single day to come up with something at least one situation where I saw God's hand in it and it has made such a difference in my mindset Mm -hmm. and in life sometimes it just says the fact that the sun came up yeah but it's something yeah something I really want to start journaling I well I didn't get a journal which I have some at home that I can use but I really do want to start journaling and then make that be even a question that I can ask every day. Like, 
where did you see the Lord work today? Because mm -hmm. it makes you think back of all the goodness. There's a whole lot of myths that can distract you. Oh, yeah. But forcing yourself to write it down, you know, maybe you can help with that. So. Yeah. But I just feel like all these are so on time, honestly, because I didn't even realize what all I was going to say, obviously, like us sitting here, but just to think about that, how I just do need to live my life with more gratitude for what I have. We talked Everybody about this earlier. Does. Yeah. We're single girls that want a life, that want right. that next step of life. I mean, we have a life. Well, it's so <laughs> hard because like we've talked about before, we we have these people and these couples that we look up to yeah. who are phenomenal people and you're just like, I'm just trying to get that. Yeah. <laughs> but also, but like, they went through to have that. Yeah, exactly. So, and they, I mean, they were in a time of preparation, I'm sure, where they thought the same exact thing that we were thinking. I know, I know. And, and so, I just it, all goes back, it all goes back to gratitude. Yeah. Being thankful for what you have now. Yeah, yeah, and where you're at right now. And obviously, there's things that you can still be worked on. And I think keeping a French, closer friendship with the Lord, like Mary Magdalene, she was always going to be able to constantly check herself. Or she just always stayed so humble before him because she was always around him. Mm -hmm. Well, we can always be around him. I mean, he's always around us. It's just whether or not we're going to the sit there. The Bible says to draw near to him, and he will draw near to you. Exactly. He's not, he's a gentleman. He's not going to force himself on you. Hmm. Right. No. So. And so she was able to keep her, I mean, she was literally able to get to be the first person to share the gospel. Was, I saw this, to, I was listening to a sermon today, actually, by Robert Morris. And he entitled it, Mary Magdalene, The Last at the Cross, The First at the Tomb. Oh, wow. wow. That's good. And it that. really was so true because she, like I said, was one of the only ones that stayed loyal to him until the very end. When he got arrested and most of the disciples fled and were denying him and were whatever, she stuck by him until the very end. Yeah. Yeah. And people that want to say things about how women shouldn't, you know all the kind of stuff about women like that's a true like that's a woman that we can look up that to. he sent yeah exactly he sent personally to share the good news yeah so obviously god has a calling for women and god like there's women that are watching and they don't think that there is a calling for your life like there is there 100 percent is look at this woman she was plagued by demons for no telling how long but god said i see you i saw you and I'm coming to get you. I'm coming to rescue you out of that mess. And so, because of that, he rescued her. She could have went right back to that, though. Like, those demons, I'm sure that they tried to creep up on her uh, and during this time of ministry. But that's when she stayed closer to the Lord. That's when she drew drew closer to her, like you were saying, like the scripture says. Um, glue closer to him, excuse me. And she was able to keep those things at bay. She really mm -hmm. was. So... Some characteristics, faithfulness, gratitude, two very important ones. And loyal. And loyalty. Yep. That's good. Yeah, I love it. So, she's, I mean, there's not a whole lot about her, but we know a lot. Also, like she's mentioned just a few times, but God thought, thought it important enough to put her in there. So. Yeah, that's good. What is the scripture for today, Sarah? The scripture for today. Or for this week, excuse me. Oh, yeah. It's Hebrews 10. 10. Mm -hmm. And it says in the New Living Translation. Hold on. Okay, go ahead. For God's will was for us to be made holy by the sacrifice of the body of Jesus Christ once for all time. Period. Period. I mean, that's it. Yeah, so that's all. All right, well, we'll leave it. let's keep it on that, and then we'll post about who we're going to talk about next week. Yeah, <laughs> what? I'm just, just laughing. Oh. So, I, I mean, who's the one that you wanted to talk about? Or are we going to talk about that? Oh. Okay, who was it? That I want to talk about Jezebel. Ah. Jezebel. So, one ways to not have. Yeah. What not to be like. <laughs> yeah, seriously. That's a good subject. I think so. And I think it's because it, Jezebel is so prevalent still today. Oh, the spirit of Jezebel? For sure. Yeah, yeah that would be good because it will make us really study. Cause, I mean, not that we don't study, but like, there's just so much. When you, I, I won't get too far into it. Yeah. We can cut this out if we need to. 
when you actually get, like start studying Jezebel, you realize that hey, I may have a little bit of Jezebel in me. I know that's why I'm a little bit nervous about how like I'm like how much Jezebel I got in me. Like obviously, like you have yeah. to though. It's a spirit. Mm -hmm. It's a demonic spirit for sure. Yeah. And I don't, and what are what people want to say about that? Demonic spirits are legit. They're scary. And it's something to be aware of too. Oh, for sure. If you're not aware of what it is, then you how do you know if you're walking in a Jezebel spirit or not? Yeah, I don't. I don't want to be. I don't want to be like all scared. Me neither. I think. I think a lot of people don't know who they are. I, they don't. They really don't. Girl. Thanks for tuning in to The Standard. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Connect with us via our social medias to keep up with weekly scripture and upcoming news and videos. If you have a prayer request or need some encouragement, don't hesitate to send us a message. We want to hear from you.